So are we ready to get started? Just give me a minute, okay? Um, shall we get started? Okay, so yesterday we saw inverse trigonometric functions, right? Do you have any questions from that? Is there any concept or anything that is not clear? So can I assume that everything is clear? Sir? Yeah, please. Sir, I have a doubt in the solution papers which you have sent today for relations and functions. Can I ask it in the end of the class? Yeah, please. Please ask it in the end. Okay, sir. Uh, apart from that, is there any other question that anyone has? Nothing? Okay. So like yesterday, can we get started with the problems and then discuss the concepts or uh, concepts and problems? So how do you want me to go? Shall I directly get into problems? Yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, just give me a minute. I'm taking out the papers. Continue the Okay, <clears throat> so an interesting question. So this is the first question, okay. Uh, find the value of f of zero so that the function f of x is equal to root of two square minus ax plus x square. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. 
ओके माइनस रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर होल डिवाइडेड बाय ए रूट ऑफ ए प्लस एक्स माइनस रूट ऑफ ए माइनस एक्स बिकम्स कंटिन्यूस so find f of 0 for which this function is continuous so for the benefit of who are not confident with continuity and differentiability i'm just explaining those who already know the concept can keep trying it okay those who don't know please listen to this so when can we say a given function is continuous at a given point in the domain when the left limit is equal to the right limit is equal to the function value this is what you would have learned in limits and derivatives right to be more specific if f of c right so what can we say a function f of x is said to be continuous at x is equal to c if limit is to c f of x is equal to f of c somebody is mic is on yeah so limit extends to c f of x is equal to f of c right i hope everybody knows this concept So I want a confirmation. Is there anyone who is not clear with this concept, or else you, if you're not going to tell me, you cannot solve the problems. Is everyone clear? Yes. Sir. Okay. So having this idea in mind, they told that the function is already continuous. So what are we supposed to do? Limit x tends to zero f of x. is equal to f of 0 meaning our job in this problem is to plug in the value of f of x in the place of limit and you will get an output that output is what is f of 0 right so how to solve this is what is f of x is equal to root of a square plus sorry a square Minus a x plus x square minus root of a square plus a x plus x square divided by anybody got the answer by root of a plus x minus root of a minus x. So what should I do? Any idea or any suggestions? Sir, uh, Where in f of zero. You want me to just substitute zero? Is it what you are saying, da? F of four f of f of c. You can or for the R R H S. You can find f of zero, right? R H S f of zero. I cannot find f of zero. I can't do. But you can do that. If you directly substitute zero here, what will you get? You will get zero by zero format. So. you should actually find limit extends to zero this function aduk or value varuma you will get an output that yes. output is what is f of 0 so if in the problem if i have a square root right square root plus square root or square root minus square root by square root minus square root you should always proceed the problem by rationalize into solve and see what will you get don't multiply the numerators so numerators will be as it is okay Into root of a plus x plus root of a plus x. What will happen to the denominator? They will be 
a plus x minus a minus x. So there will be two x no. So limit extends to zero. Denominator is one by two x into. What will I do is this root of a plus x plus root of a plus x also. I'll keep it undisturbed. Now we'll rationalize this. When I rationalize it, what will I get? I'll get root of a square minus a x plus x square minus root of a square oh, plus. Ah, uh, tell me. Sir, it's supposed to be root of a minus x, right? One is a plus x, and another one is minus x. Where are you saying? Oh, other one is a minus x. Sir, sorry. Here, no. Yes, sir. Yeah. So while explaining, I wrote it in a hurry. Okay. So here also it will be minus. But otherwise, the concept is clear, no. Why are we doing this? Because we are getting the indeterminate form, zero by zero form, plus root of a square plus a x plus x square into root of a square minus a x plus x square plus root of a square plus a x plus x square. So when I multiply this and this in the numerator, what will I get? I know, unfortunately, first problem itself has come out slightly tough. It's concept-wise, it's not tough. It's only about rationalize. Okay. So, confidently proceed. Treat this as A. Treat this as B. A minus B into A plus B. What will you get? Minus 2A. A square minus B square. Huh? Yes sir. yes, sir. Minus 2ax. Minus 2ax. Uh, you did it. Uh. Yes, sir. Okay. Is everyone getting the same? Yes, sir. Limit x yes, to 0. 1 by 2x into what is there in the numerator? Numerator is root of a plus x plus root of a minus x into what did you say here? It is 2ax uh, divided by what am I left out in the denominator? Minus 2ax. Sir. Minus 2x. Minus 2x, okay. Root of a square minus ax plus x square plus root of a square plus ax plus x square. Okay, now I can cancel this x and x. 2 and 2 are also gone. Now substitute x is equal to 0. What will you get? Root a plus root a into minus a divided by a into a. So you'll get two root a into minus a divided by so a, a plus a right? Ah, a plus a. So you'll get two a no. So you will get two a. So a and a will get cancelled. Two and two are gone. So minus a power half is the answer. Let me check if there is an option. Yes. So according to the assignment, minus option B is the right answer. Sir, uh, here you got LHS, sir. Uh, so, how will you prove it's? We need not prove it. Uh. Read the question. No, I'll, oh, sorry, you don't have it. No, find the value of f of 0 so that this function is continuous. They told it is already continuous. Okay, sir. Okay. So, this value you got. No, this is what is f of 0. Yes, sir. So I'm searching for another one. See, the fifth one is f of x is sir. equal to. Ah, uh, tell me, you're copying. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, minus root a by b. Where is it? Minus? 
root a by which step final step, uh? final so it's it's minus a root a that's it no by i just underlined it. b option okay option b is clear yes sir okay now listen this is also an interesting one f of x is equal to 1 minus sin square x divided by 3 cos square x a and b into 1 minus sin x by pi minus 2x the whole square when x is less than pi by 2 when x is equal to pi by 2 when x is greater than pi by 2 they told f of x is continuous at x is equal to pi by 2 if option a a is equal to 1 by 3 and b is equal to 2 option b a is equal to 2 by 3 b is equal to 8 by 3 option c is a is equal to 1 by 3 b is equal to 8 by 3 option d is none of this So how to solve? Sir, uh, for limit x tends to pi by 2 minus here. So for, for that, you will take 1 minus sine square as cos square x. Okay. And cancel it. Calculate the limit value. So how will you do? Sir, so uh, 1 minus sine square. If I direct, okay. So it is limit extends to pi by 2. Now if I take it, uh, if I directly substitute the limit, what will happen? What form will you get? Indeed, 0 by 0. Zero by zero. Zero by zero form. So what are we supposed to do? Simplify. So 1 minus sine square x, can I write it as? Cos square x. Cos square x. So what will you get? Cos square x by 3 cos square x, cancel it, answer will be 1 by 3. Option C. Kaushik, are you sure? So A is 1 by 3. So option A is possible, option B, C is also possible. Now, for B, what should I do? Limit extends to pi by 2 plus. So we didn't find A, sir. A, we need not find, no. Because they told that this function has to be continuous. So this is the left limit, correct? So left limit should be equal to the function value. What is the function value? At x is equal to pi by 2, what is the function value? A only, no? So what are you getting this A as? A is 1 by 3. Are you able to understand this point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we found it. So limit extends to pi by 2 pi uh, plus b into 1 minus sin x on that b into 1 minus sin x divided by um, pi minus 2x the whole square. So how do I proceed? Kaushik, can you tell me the steps to proceed? This is actually a textbook problem. problem. Anybody? See, there is a rule called as Hello Spells rule. Don't use it here. If somebody already knows that who are preparing for competitive exam, 
if any one of you knows or heard of something called as el hospital's rule don't use it in this talk because if it comes in subjective you have to show the steps i'm waiting sir nobody knows sir sir uh, should we multiply like uh, b of uh, 1 minus sin x that is into 1 to sin x and then in the denominator also like that we have to want to do that you want to do that and see yes sir like yes sir okay. you want so, to try that we'll do yeah, that sir. okay i'll do that so pi minus 2x so it means you want to rationalize it 1 plus yeah, sin sir, x but a uh, 1 plus sin x with, yeah okay sir so you will get 1 minus sin square x that is you will write it as cos square x is that what you want yes sir b cos b cos square x yes sir so b cos square x divided by pi minus 2x the whole square okay after this and then we have to write 1 plus sin x sir, into 1 plus sin x. okay 1 plus sin x you want me to write it okay yes sir now next step next step you're almost uh, there Mm. I'll give you a hint, okay? Okay, sir. Limit extends to zero. Sin x by x is one. We need to use this. Uh, if we use the limit, uh, limit extends to zero, da. Oh, sin of okay. something by the same thing should be in the denominator. Then the answer will be one. Sir, multiply and divide by x, sir. Seven. So, it will become complicated, right? It will become sir, complicated. We... Yeah, tell me. Sir, if we could take like x is equal to t plus h uh, t plus pi by two. So when x tends to pi by two, t will tend to zero. That is that. That's what I did. See, I brought the pi by two to the left hand side. When x is tending to pi by two, x minus pi by two will tend to zero. Am I clear? Correct, sir. Kithra, was it you? Yes, sir. Ah, ये तो पूरी था. So this is yes, right. Sir. X minus pi by two tends to zero. So b into this cos square x is there. No, why don't I write it as sine square pi by two minus x? Can I? If I do that, what I'll do is I'll take the two from the denominator. So if I take the two outside, I'll get four into pi by two minus x the whole square. Can I? Can I do it like this? Into one plus sin x. Is there anyone having doubt in this step? This is a very very crucial step. Hmm. Sir, how sir four into? Because two into pi minus pi by two minus x the whole square. This is the same as pi minus two x the whole square. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now got it now you take the two outside it become 4 into now observe now i will take this x minus pi by 2 to be y i'll call this as y now see what will happen is limit y tends to 0 b into sin square y by 4y square into 1 plus sin of x minus pi by 2 is y means x is how much y plus pi by 2 ah am i clear guys Now see, yes, this b by four is there. Now I can take it out of the limit. So b by four into b by four into limit y tends to zero sine y by y the whole square into one divided by one plus cos y. Correct? Ah. Now what will happen to this according to the logic that I gave you? One. Yes. It will become one. So what I left out with b by four into one divided by one plus cos zero. That is two. So it become b by eight. So Kaushik, what you told is right. So a is equal to one by three. B will be equal to eight by three. Why is it so? Because b by eight is equal to one by three. 
So B will be equal to 8 by E. Clear, guys? This is a very, very important step. So please have it in your mind. Okay. Okay. So the other problems, okay, I'll do one last problem based on differentiation. I mean, uh, continuity, then we'll go to the concept of differentiation. Shall I proceed? Yes, sir. So this is the 24th problem from the assignment f of x is equal to 1 minus sin x divided by pi minus 2x the whole square. It is something similar to the previous problem. When x is not equal to pi by 2. This is when x is not equal to pi by 2. And f of pi by 2 is equal to lambda. If f of x is continuous at x is equal to pi by 2, find lambda. So what is the first step you'll write? Limit extends to pi by 2, 1 minus sin x by pi minus 2x, the whole square is equal to f of pi by 2, okay? Is equal to f of pi by 2. Then find the value of lambda and tell me. So why did I write it? Since f of x is continuous. Kaushik, 1 by 8. I think it is 1 by 8 only. There's something similar to previous. Look. Instead of B, I had this thing. Correct. Them. It's 1 by 8. But I'm more concerned about the steps. Kaushik, you're right. Anybody with the answer? Anyone else? Did you get 1 by 8? Yes, sir. Good. So, does anybody want me to do this problem? It's the same, exactly the same as previous one, except the fact that you don't have a B, except that all the steps are same. So, when we had a B, we got the answer as B by 8. No, since B is not there, you'll get 1 by 8. So, 1 by 8 is lambda. You want me to do Arvind, same the previous problem. Now I'll show you. See, Yerka. So it's the same steps except the fact that B is not So since B is not there, you'll not get the final answer as B by 8. You'll get it as 1 by 8. You try it out again. If you don't get it, reach out. Arvind, is that clear? Okay, okay, sir. Yeah, okay. So shall we do some problem based on differentiation? Okay, listen to this. 
now i guess the speed will be slightly more y is equal to 1 plus 1 by x the whole power x then find dy by dx is equal to what so i want the logic so how do we even proceed take log on log on both sides so how did you get the idea of taking log on both the sides when will you take log when will you not take variable power variable, variable. yes so if it is a function to the power of a constant you will not take log no log for example x square you will not take a log sin square x you will not take a log whereas if you have function raised to the power of function you should take a log for example x power x x power sin x we have something like this we should proceed with log so taking log on both the sides log y will be equal to x into tell me x into log of 1 plus 1 by x so you want to tell me or you want to try it on your own first okay those who want to try keep trying i'll be doing don't look at the board there is an option so if you have got the answer please let me know in the chat box at least not the whole answer saying that you got the answer it's uh, got it so all got answer Got it, sir. Got it. Okay, so I've done it on the. Just verify if uh, it's matching with yours. Is there anyone who's not clear? Okay. And then shall I proceed? So I'll do the sixth one. So sixth one is x power y is equal to e power x minus y. Okay, find dy by dx. Again, taking log on both sides. So y log x is equal to x minus y. So y into one by x. Plus log x into y dash is equal to one minus y dash. So y by x minus one is equal to y dash into one plus log x.
Oh, sir. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't it be X minus Y? Sir, it's X minus Y. Where? The instead sir, of X minus Y upon X. No, no, see, this is Y by X, sir. Right. I brought this one to the left hand side. Minus, then it should be one minus log x. Um, sir, we could also no, take. No, no, no. no, no. You guys are right. You guys are right. I'll take that y by x to the other side, actually. So sir, I'll take the y by x to the other side. Yeah, tell me. So we could like take y on one side and directly do it, right? Like? So y log x is equal to x minus y. So I y do that. 1 plus log x. You can do that. You can do that. I just treated it like implicit function. You're uh, writing it as an explicit function. That's it. So you're saying that you want to take the y to the other side. You want to write it as y into 1 plus log x is equal to x. Yes, sir. Same. Yes, sir. It's the same thing. You want to take that one plus log x to the denominator and then do it? Yes, sir. It will be will it not be complicated? It's always comfortable to go with product rather than u by v. No? U by v, there sir, is a chance. Yes, sir, sir. So if you are comfortable, you can go with that. Both are right. Both are right. Okay. So there's a Okay, next. Seventh one. Y is equal to root of secant x minus 1 by secant x plus 1. Then find the value of dy by dx. What is the idea? Rationalize, multiply it uh, with secant x plus the one. Log. Log. You either rationalize and then proceed. Right. Yeah, you rationalize and proceed, or you take log on both the sides. So one of you try with log, one of you try with rationalizing. Do you see? I think this problem rationalizing will be easy. So root of secant x minus 1 into secant x minus 1 divided by secant square x minus 1. Did you understand what I did? So, so this will be, tell me. Man. So secant x can be written as 1 by cos x and it will, and finally it will come as 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x. That also I can do. That also I can do. So finally you're going to get the same answer. So it will be secant x minus 1 divided by tan square x. Sorry, root of tan square x. So you will get secant x minus 1 divided by tan x. So you want to write it like that? That is also okay. There is also a famous expression. So y is equal to root of, can I write it as 1 minus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x? Right? So, oh, sir. Uh, tell me. Is the answer as y into secant x? y into secant x. You, you, to, you told y or phi? One second. Sir. Yeah. Sir, um, is the answer. Can x by 2. So, half of secant square x by 2. Sir, is the answer 1 by 1 plus cos x? You will get multiple answers here, depending on how you are proceeding. One by one plus cos x is also right. <coughs> so y dash is equal to you are getting one by one plus cos x. No. One divided by what is one plus cos x? It is two cos square x by two. So it is half into 1 by cos square x by 2 is secant square x by 2. Both are matching. Yes, sir. 
I say it's up to you. You will get multiple answers depending on the approach. If you have taken log, you will get something else. But is there anyone who is having a doubt in what I did? So today the interaction is slightly oh, less. Please tell me. Sir, I'm getting cosecant x into y. You took log on both the sides, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, for your satisfaction, I'll do it. So others also try, you know, log y is equal to half into secant x minus 1 by secant x plus 1. Is this what you did? What did you do to this? Sir, it will become log secant x minus 1, right? Yeah, yeah log, log is there. But what did you do to this? So, Bridget, I'm, I'm concerned about that point. Sir, what that log a to? minus log b, no? Oh, you took it like that? So, log y is equal to half into log of secant x minus 1. I would not suggest this method, but for your satisfaction, I'm trying. Okay. So, 1 by y into y dash is equal to half into what will this be? 1 by secant x minus 1 into derivative of secant x is secant x tan x minus 1 by secant x plus 1 into derivative of this is secant x tan x. So, secant x tan x will the come The denominator out. will become tan square x. That's right. So, numerator? So, two numerator no. would become 2 secant x tan x. Uh, 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So, y dash by y is this thing. So, y dash is equal to what is the value of y? Oh, that whole thing you want to take. It's so complicated. But when you simplify it, it becomes actually this problem, no, instead of becoming differentiation, it becomes a trigonometry based problem. So it's not complicated, no. Let me check what are the option given here. Half sequence square x by 2 is the option. Because all the options are simple. Okay. I am not suggesting. So, ninth one, y is equal to root of 1 plus sin x by 1 minus sin x, find y dash. Fast. One plus sine x. So first simplify this function and then proceed. There are two secant square x. I think there is an option. Let me check. Mm. No, sir. Uh, one plus sine x upon uh, cos square x. So, you were saying when you're simplifying it, huh? when you simplify it, 1 plus sin x by cos x is what you will get. Because when you rationalize, sir, what will you do? 1 plus sin x. No, sir, I'm telling the answer. Final answer. What did you say? Come again. Sir, uh, 1 plus uh, sin x upon cos square x. No, that is, you didn't differentiate it, no? That's what I'm saying. When you rationalize itself, the function itself is that value. You didn't differentiate it. So, why will Sir, be it's the answer to... secant x of tan x plus secant x. Secant x of tan x. Plus... I'll give you the options. If you see, if you guys can get it closer to that. Half secant square of pi by 4 minus x by 2. Half cosecant square of pi by 4 minus x by 2. Half cosecant pi by 4 minus x by 2 into cot of pi by 4 minus x by 2. 
sir mm -hmm. sir actually i'm telling final answer sir i'm telling 1 plus sin x upon cos square x not uh, cos x this one no? but these are the options given these are oh, the please. options and the fourth one is none of these so try to bring them closer to that Sir, option A, half secant square pi by 4 minus x by 2. How did you get it? How chic? Idea. Sir, I converted which one in terms of pi by 4 plus x by 2? Okay. See, secant x plus tan x, can you tell me how did you convert it to tan pi by 4 plus x by 2? Because tan pi by 4 plus x by 2 is going to be equal to 1 plus tan x by 2 by 1 minus tan x by 2. So how did you do that? Sir, am I audible? Yeah. Sir, actually in the equation, I, I instead of one, one, I have put in sine square x by 2 plus cos square x by 2. And instead of sine right. x, I have put in, in in the question, sir. Sine x. In the question itself. Okay. So you convert instead it of, as square. Yes. Yeah. Instead of sine x, I have put in 2 sine x by 2 cos x by 2, sir. Okay. 1 plus sine x by 1 minus sine x. I know what you did. So one minus sine x. So see, this is another famous technique which we use in inverse trigonometry. So you can write it as sine square x by two plus cos square x by two plus two sine x by two cos x by two divided by sine square x by two plus cos square x by two minus two sine x by two cos x by two. So if you observe this, this is of the form a square plus b square plus two ab. So you can write it as root of cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square divided by this is a square b square minus 2 ab so you can write it as cos x by 2 sorry minus sin x by 2 the whole square is that clear so you'll be left out with cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 so divide the numerator and denominator with cos x by 2. Then what will you get? You will get 1 plus tan x by 2 by 1 minus tan x by 2. This will be equal to tan of pi by 4 plus x by 2. So when this is y, then what will y dash be? 
y dash will be equal to secant square of pi by 4 plus x by 2 into derivative of pi by 4 plus x by 2 is half. So 1 by 2 into secant square of pi by 4 plus x by 2. Actually, answer will be none of these. Because it is plus x by 2, options given are pi by 4 minus x by 2. Is everyone clear with what I did? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, so, the last step, I didn't. Which step? This one, huh? No, so the before step tan of pi by 4 plus x by 2. This step you are not clear at all? Ah, yes. Sir. Okay, listen to this. See, tan of a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b. Right. So, there are two famous expressions. 1 plus tan x by 2 by 1 minus tan x by 2 can be written as tan of pi by 4 plus x by 2. How did I choose this plus? Because the numerator is plus and denominator is minus. There is another expression, 1 minus tan x by 2 by 1 plus tan x by 2. This is written as tan of pi by 4 minus x by 2. These two are very important expressions to be remembered. Did you understand now? Yes, because, if, because if I take this as A and this as B, apply this formula and see, you know, you will get this. Okay. That part can you do and see? Yes, sir. Yes. So, if, I hope everyone is clear, right? See, if the same problem is asked in subjective, right? You can do in this method also. But since the options are given, this pi by 4 minus x by 2 is giving us the hint that you need to write it in terms of tan or cot. See, looking at the options, I'll tell you how to think. For example, if you need to get secant square, right, answer my question. If you need to get secant square, what should the function be in terms of? Y should be in terms of tan x. Y should be in terms of tan. X or Y, that is not concerned. If you need secant square, Y should be in terms of tan. If you need cosecant square, Y should be in terms of cot. Cot. My, minus cot. Why? Because derivative of cot is minus cosecant square x. Here it is positive. Clear? Suppose you want cosecant into cot. Then why should I have been in the format of? Why should I have been in the minus format cosecant. of? Minus cosecant. Minus cosecant. You are able to understand. So, if, if there is an MCQ question, you need to convert that given function in terms of these values depending on which option would match. Are you able to understand that point? I hope it is clear, no? Yes. Sir. So, we'll do one more problem. Yes, sir. Good. So, we'll do one more problem. I'll give you a... Are the problems tough? Hmm? So, y is equal to log of root tan x find dy by dx at x is equal to pi by 4. Okay. Find it. So, y dash is equal to 1 by root of tan x into 1 by 2 root of tan x into derivative of tan x is secant square x. 
So it will be secant square x divided by 2 times tan x. This is y dash. So y dash at pi by 4 will be equal to secant square pi by 4 divided by 2 into tan pi by 4. Answer will be 2 divided by 2 into 1. Answer is. Clear. It is a simple one only. Okay. So next class we'll try out few more problems. I'll tell I'll teach you how to integrate one function with respect to another function. Okay. So is there any other doubt? Uh, Anushri, you've had some doubt. No? Yeah. Who, who is it? Rama. Uh, sir. Okay. See, if there are no doubts, we can wind up. Anushri can get your doubt cleared. Yes, sir. 